Welcome to another video. So, I recently covered the GPT Me agent, and I've also discussed some cool agents like Agent Q, Sentient, and even Agent Zero. Today, I've got another agent for you. This one's called Open Macro. Open Macro lies somewhere between Agent Q and GPT Me on the spectrum. For example, Agent Q can browse the web, control browsers, and do some tasks but it can't create programs, run Python scripts, or do anything beyond the tools it already has. GPT-Me claimed to fix that, but its browser mode was broken and never worked properly. However, Open Macro is an AI agent that claims to fix these issues. Open Macro is a multimodal personal agent that allows LLMs to run code locally. It aims to act as a personal assistant capable of completing and automating tasks, from simple to complex, autonomously via self-prompting. From what I understand, it can run Python or almost any CLI tool to execute code, using that functionality to perform tasks. It provides a CLI natural language interface to complete and automate tasks, analyze and plot data, browse the web for the latest information, and manipulate files like photos, videos, PDFs, and more. It only supports the Samba Nova API, which is fine because it's completely free, and anyone can use it without needing API keys or even running local models, which don't always work well. Plus, Samba Nova is super fast for inference, which is another bonus. Open Macro uses a profile structure where you can name yourself and the assistant anything you want. You can also tweak the prompts to generate responses in a certain way, or whatever you prefer. You can set up safeguards to ensure the agent doesn't go rogue, and you can configure the search engine it uses, along with other tools like an email server or similar. Additionally, you can set up CLI tools like Python, Rust, and others for it to use. The text-to-speech feature is configurable too, which is nice if you're into voice controls. Currently, it only has two extensions, a browser and a mail extension. But you can create your own extensions, which is great for extensibility. Now, let's get started and test what it can do, and what it can't. First of all, to install it, you just need to run the pip install open macro command. Once you do that, it'll start installing, which is just awesome. Once installed, you'll need to set up your API key. To do that, run the macro command with the API key operator and set your Samba Nova API key. You can get this key for free from Samba Nova's website, so just go ahead and set it up. Once that's done, you'll need to create a profile Python file to configure the profile. Just create a file copy this code, and paste it in there. Now, I don't need the email feature, so I'll remove that. I also don't need the text-to-speech functionality, so I'll get rid of that as well. Aside from that, I'll change the username to King, and I'll also rename the assistant to Macro. After you've done that, head back to the terminal and provide your profile with this command. Once that's set, you can start using it. You only need to provide the profile once, and after that, you can just launch it with the macro command. Anyway, now we can start using it. Let's begin with something simple. Let's ask it to tell me the current time in Sweden. All right, it's doing that now. If we wait a bit, you'll see it's opened up the browser. Since it's using Samba Nova, browsing is super fast. And it's done. So, it answered that pretty well, which is a good start. 
browsing, and everything seemed to work fine. Let's try something else. Let's ask it to go to Google and search for NVIDIA's stock price. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's give it a second. And it's done. We've got the information right here, which is great to see. Now let's try something basic. Let's ask it to create a file. Okay, it's working on that. Let's wait. And it's done. If we exit and check the directory, you'll see the file has been created, which is awesome. Now, let's do something more complex. Let's ask it to create a file with some content. I'll ask it to write a haiku about computers and save it in a file. All right, it's doing that now. Let's wait. And it's done. This also worked pretty well. I also tried generating code and asking it to save the code in a file, but it failed at that because it uses Python to create the file and struggles with escaping tags and quotes. So, it's not great at coding. However, it can run shell commands. For example, you can ask it to change file permissions, and it'll handle that, which is also useful. Beyond that, it can do anything involving Python, Shell, Rust, or any CLI tool. The task just can't be too long or complex. So that's pretty cool too. These are the main things you can do with Open Macro. I think it works quite well especially considering you can use it for free with Samba Nova, which is the default provider, and it's very fast. I haven't hit any rate limits while using it, so I believe Samba Nova has generous limits that don't impact performance. You can also integrate it into your own applications, since it's a Python package, which is great to see. Overall, I think this is a pretty solid agent. It's like Agent Q with basic features, but it also offers text-to-speech, which I haven't tried yet, but you can configure that to suit your needs. I would like to see it improve, and maybe make it more capable in the coding aspects and stuff like that where it's currently lacking. So, overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.